But the voice of People's Party, which has been spearheading the agitation on the roster issue in Meghalaya, has resolved to fight and intensify their demand for a special assembly session to discuss and review the roster system in the state. Well, speaking to Northeast Live Chief of Bureau Arindam Das, VPP spokesperson Bachram Amarbo shared VPP's views on issues ranging from the roster issue to ILP and the party's plans for the Lok Sabha elections. So let's listen into this exclusive conversation. We have with us the spokesperson of Voice of People's Party, Mr. Vetskem Marbo. Well, your party and the government of Meghalaya seems to be at loggerheads regarding the roster issue. So can you please brief us what is the contention all about? Our contention is that uh, the retrospective implementation has you know, really affected and it is affecting the youth from the Khasi Jaintia community. Uh, we understand that uh, reservation, uh, you know, uh, has to be based on the rooster system. We understand that. But it should be applied with prospective effect. That is from 2021 it's in, or 22, not from uh, 1972. That is the main contention. And our stand is we should... Um, you know, put on hold the implementation of the ROSA system and the recruitment by the various recruitment bodies in the uh, state uh, during the pendency of the review of the uh, reservation policy. Our stand is this reservation policy needs to be reviewed because it does not uh, uh, reflect the population structure of the state. Uh, because when we look at the population, the Khasi Jainte community, uh, you know, they constitute about 47% uh, of the state's population. Whereas the, you know, the Karo community constitute about 31, 32%. So when you look into the reservation, it is 40, 40. Moreover, this reservation policy, I would say that it needs the re-examination by the expert committee. I f we feel from the party that needs to be reviewed by the expert committee, uh, committee, you know, taking into account the need of the state. Well, some section also terming you as a communal party ho on this roster system. The perception that the voice of the people party is communal is a misperception. We empower the youth, we empower the students of all communities and therefore I don't see any you know, uh, you know uh, anything wrong with our approach and the perception that some they have that uh, you know they label us as being communal it is really a misunderstanding the Meghala government has been saying in fact the mda 2.0 led by Conrad sangma is also saying that the matter is right now the ball is in the center's court so what do you have to say on it? Uh, you know, extension of the airline, airline permit to Manipur, which took place in December 2019. If you look at the preamble of that amendment, you'd find that the word Khasi Chandi Hills were removed from the preamble. As of now, we know that the, you know, the position has become worse than before. At least before, you know, the, gov the governor could simply, through a notification, implement ILP, at least in Khasi, Chandi Hills. But that is not a position anymore. And this government, MDA 1, and even the MDA 2, they did not say anything about uh, that uh, exclusion of the two districts. And therefore, you know, like, uh, look, go going from the past records of the political parties, I don't see that they are really sincere about the need to implement ILP in the state. And it is very much convenient for them to say it is in the, you know, in the court of the center. What I feel, if the government is really serious, there's no harm for the MDA to, to pass the resolution again and again, meet the central leadership till the ILP is implemented in the state. But you have not done anything. Voice of People's Party, a nascent party, won four seats in the assembly elections this time. So what is the party's ambition right now in Meghalaya? Uh, the Voice of the People Party uh, plans and we are sure to 
contest the election to the parliament, which will uh, take place in 2024, as and also the election to the autonomous district councils, which will be held again next year, sometime in the month of March 2024. Do you have any plans to extend your footprints to other parts in Garo Hills also, because there are two seats of Lok Sabha? Um, yes, definitely. As I said, when we talk about uh, development, that is the, uh, the plan and that is the goal of the uh, Voice of the People Party. We cannot have the partial development. We have to have the overall development of the state. And therefore, we, ha you know, we feel that we will go to every part of the state and we will try to establish our presence as much as possible. The candidates you will field, will it be a consensus candidate of the united opposition or it's from the VPP? Based on the principle of the party, we find it not prudent and not possible to work together with the other parties. We have to work alone. And therefore, when we fight the election also, it would be the voice of the people party candidates, not of the alliance. Thank you very much. That was the spokesperson of VPP, Batskem Marbo, speaking exclusively to Northeast Life, reporting from Silong with camera person Francis. This is Arindam Das for Northeast Life.